what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out this is going to be general it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't don't force it to fit if you would like a personal all that information's in the description box okay guys good day good sunday how y'all doing i'm gonna do a you versus them well a masculine versus feminine reading um this is the feminine okay and this is the masculine we're just gonna get some overall energy to get an idea we'll pull some clarifiers okay so let's see over here with the feminine what's the what is the feminine got going on right now spirit ancestors and guides we are divine counterparts this connection is a deep con soul connection i know it do you Wow, so this feminine, she knows. She knows in her heart and in her soul that this is a deep soul connection, okay? There is something about this connection that it's like whoever this female is, she's a boss. She's fine as fuck. She funny as fuck. She, she can pull whoever the fuck she wants. She's never had a problem with dropping dead weight and moving on. But it's like with this specific masculine, she knows that you got, like, it's like she knows that these are divine counterparts, that you guys are mirrored souls here. But it's like this masculine's not seeing it okay i feel like you didn't appreciate my love and that was literally came out during the pre-shuffle pre so this person felt to see what a magical and deep connection this was it's almost like you showed them complete unconditional love and they took advantage of it it's like instead of seeing you in a loving way and as a strong woman and as somebody that, you know, loves unconditionally and loyally, they took your kindness for a weakness here. Don't rush in here and disappear again. So this person has a problem with being in and out, hot and cold, coming in, you know, making shit seem good and then ghosting you again. And then all of a sudden they're gone again. I feel like this shit is really starting to bother you because like I said, you're showing this person unconditional love. You show this person unconditional loyalty. And they keep on motherfucking taking it and like slapping you in the face with it. And it's like you do this because you feel like you guys are divine counterparts, but you're starting to come to the point where you feel like this person just does not appreciate everything that you do. They come in and they use, use that to their advantage and then they disappear again. I wish you would come home to me. I wish this was with all my heart. So deep down inside, this feminine does want this masculine back. But it's like it, that energy where it's like, don't come in here just to disappear again. Like, I don't want you back. I want you here with all my heart, but I don't want you here if you're just going to come in and rush out and be gone again. Let's see what this masculine says. I want you to surrender to me. You are mine. I will not hurt you again. No more broken or empty promises. Wow, so didn't I say this person comes in and says what sounds good, takes advantage of, of your kindness? And this person, they do. So to answer your question, like if you wonder if this person feels, and they don't have to believe in spirituality. They don't have to believe in divine counterparts. I'm not saying they're running around saying that you guys are twin flame soulmates, okay? But I am saying that this, per when, like, if you wonder if this person feels that soulmate connection and that connection that you do, this is confirmation because it comes out under that card that this person does. They feel, it says, you are mine. They do feel that deep soul connection that you feel if you ever question that. I won't hurt you again. No more broken or empty promises. But this person also has a problem. I don't know. You're very headstrong, okay? Because that I want you to surrender me to me is just sticking out like a motherfucker to me. So it's almost like you're really headstrong, okay? Whoever this female is, they're very, very headstrong. Um, and they're not letting anybody, I, who cares? Like, people call, like, a, a headstrong female difficult. Uh, no, we're not difficult for knowing our worth, knowing what we deserve, you know, not accepting the less because we are giving 100% and we deserve that in return. That's a lot of 
times females forget that because we're still busy taking care of everything else the kids the home job all of that and it's almost like this person wanted you to um really bring out that feminine side and surrender to them i don't know they feel like you're very dominant okay that could be something that also bothers them like they might have even told you like you're very guyish okay but this person does they feel like you are there they're saying they will not hurt you again no more broken promises let's see what else this masculine has to say here spirit oh golly i don't like the way those fell out you are everything i ever wanted i feel like i've messed it up i'm not sure how to fix it so that falls over i feel like you didn't appreciate my love so did you feel like this person didn't appreciate your love but deep down even if they didn't show it you are everything that they have ever wanted and they know they messed it up by not showing it whatever they did it's almost to that point where it's unfixable because it's a repeated cycle and a repeated pattern. And it says, I know you don't trust me. It seems hard to gain your trust. How can I do that? And that's with don't rush in here and disappear again. So that could be a reason why you don't trust this person and that you're tired of dealing with them is because they rush in and then they're gone and then they're leaving you in this state of wondering and, you know, trying to bring yourself back together again. And then here they come, like right when you're moving on and feeling good, here they come in again. And you just don't trust them. You you don't. And they want to come in and prove their trust to... They're trying to figure out how to come in and gain this trust. But it's like words cannot fix this. I would love to have a reconciliation with you. I'm not sure how to go about it. I'm working on it. I need to feel you again. This person, if you guys haven't been around each other or close to each other, this person does miss the intimacy with you. They want to come back together with you, but they're going in over in their head how to go about that. This person might feel like if they come to you and talk to you that you might end up going off on them. Um... You know, like they, because it says, I want you to surrender to me. So you're very dominant. You're a dominant female. You're not going to let no bitch boy motherfucking run all over you. Hell, we, we the dogs now. It's 2020. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. <laughs> okay. And so that's, they don't know how to come in and talk to you because you're so headstrong and so independent. And so they know if they try to come in and explain themselves or have a conversation with you that you might go the fuck off on them and not want to hear it. Like you could be one of them people that are like, shit, I don't even motherfucking, eh, eh, I ain't even got to hear it. Like I'm not going to go back and forth with you mm -mm, and shut their ass on down. Shit. But they want to come in and fix this, but they're scared. I, I just heard scared of you. <laughs> they're scared of you. Yo, they know you, you, they can't play with you. Let's see, what up, what up here for the feminine? What's, what about the feminine? What's the feminine got to say up here, spirit? Third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. So you could know that there was a third party involved here and you were not content with being second or being put um, on hold or on a back burner or uh, being cheated on if that was the case, okay? Them coming in and motherfucking acting like they want a relationship then running back to this third party. Um, there was a lot of manipulation, I feel like, within this third party situation. Uh, I feel like I just heard they wanted you to find out. So whoever this third party is, if you were the one being cheated on and being manipulated, they purposely made sure that you found out about them. If this is somebody from the past, um, this person is very jealous of you. They're jealous of that energy. You guys are divine counterparts. They are so fucking jealous um, of the love that your person has for you. So they did everything they could to try to come in between this connection. But with this being your energy, this person could have put you in a third party and like made you the third party and manipulated you and you didn't know that they had a whole nother life going on. And that just completely shut that shit down. 
Let's see, though. What would the masculine say here, spirit? Ego. Yeah, this, I let my pride get in the way of our connection. So this person has a big ego. They have a lot of pride. And um, you guys could have a lot of different values, okay? Because values came out, too. We have too many differences. So you guys could come up from a different background, different religion, different values. I just heard family. So it's like with ego being there and pride and values, it's almost like this person's like worried about what their family would think. Like if you guys aren't like from America and you guys have different traditions, family traditions, you know, um, where you can't date outside your religion and all that kind of stuff, you know. Everybody has different cultures, different religions. We don't we don't discriminate, right? Um, but this this could might whatever this connection might go against their values, they're and they're so worried about what people will think here. Y'all are also almost like polar opposites. And they're also worried like it's like also, you have worried about what people think. Let me finish my sentence because I have a lot coming in. Also, you have a way to dominate. Like I said, it's like this person is used to dominating and controlling other people, okay? And being the boss and being in charge. But with you, it's like you naturally wear the pants. You're a natural leader here. And this... it, it takes a blow to this masculine's ego you know like most females they need to ask their man before making any decisions ask their man you know need help with bills all that i feel like you you really don't need that okay and that their pride because you you know you ain't got to kiss nobody's ass for a place to stay or to have your bills paid or pretend you know no you stand up to this person and because this person couldn't control and manipulate you and walk all over you, they it, it's like you're too strong. You were too strong. But don't weaken yourself because they're weak. Dishonesty by lying, I ripped us apart. So this person um, is being dishonest is what you don't see. And wow, right under that is that soul contract. And I'm two separate decks. All the soul, I mean, well, really three soul contract cards came out the lesson i learned from us will never be forgotten even if you move on and move away from this person this person will never forget you this will just like motherfucking consume this person's mind this person's soul okay because they were dishonesty it's like they knew that they're the ones that fucked this up You could also be one of them people that are just really keen on honesty. You know, if you just tell me the truth, because especially with your divine counterpart, you know, come in and tell me the truth and let me decide what I want to do. Um, Because usually we'll show that unconditional love. But this person is like they weren't just lying and lying. And that I think that pissed you off more than just the fact that of the actual lie, like of the actual than what they actually did. You see, the fact that they lied about it pissed you off more than the actual act. You could have came told and told me. You could have let me know whatever it is. The roof and plant by my house is uh, opening up. <laughs> Let's see, for the fam, huh? For the fam, 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 spirit, for the fam. Wedding rings, union and marriage, soul connection, everlasting love devotion. So this person does want to marry you. They want to make you, they feel like it, it, on a soul level because it says you are mine. I want you to surrender to me. On a soul level, you guys are already married. You you are in a soul marriage, a soul connection already. Um, you Your souls are in union. Those wedding rings are there. And that's what spirit wants you to know. I feel like that could be something lately that you go back and forth in your head about. Like whether this is your counterpart or a karmic or whatever. This is your, this is your true divine counterpart here. Attraction, teasing, hooking up, and date, third-party temptation. For So, for the masculine, we have seduction. Attraction, teasing, hooking up, and date, third-party temptation. 
So that could, like, this person is almost, is weak, like, almost weak as fuck. Like, they easily give in to temptation. Like, it's like a, a little girl comes, a, a little, and I'm not saying a little girl, like a little girl, y'all don't, uh uh-uh, we don't play that shit, but I'm saying like a little old female come through pooching her little lips out, and here they are running, <laughs> wagging their tail like a little dirty ass dog, giving into temptation, hooking up, third party temptation. And whoever this third party is, they're going to continue to try to seduce this person. And it's because they're jealous as fuck of your connection. Whoever this karmic is, they've always been able to manipulate your person with sex and with their looks and shit. But it's like, this isn't working with this masculine anymore. And I'm just going to be honest, she's going to continue to try to fuck this masculine just to come in between... Like, she knows that this masculine isn't in love with her and that he's in love with you. So, she's going to... And she also knows that he's weak as fuck when it comes to pussy. So, it's like, she's going to come in and try to continue to seduce this masculine and to fuck this masculine just to keep these counterparts away from each other out of jealous and envy because this masculine does not love her the way he loves you. What about for this feminine spirit? Okay, so if you've been confused about the way things are going, if you haven't had any communication with Sword and Rose, there is going to be some clar clarification coming in, some clarity, okay? Somebody will be coming in with some kind of truth, and it's because they do truly honor and value this connection. They want to uh, protect and you know, just kind of, what's the word I'm looking for? Just kind of save uh, whatever they can, you know, try to mend back together whatever they can, you know, not take a total loss. They want to protect this connection somehow, and they're determined to fix things here. So they will be coming in with some kind of clarity, some kind of truth about what they have going on, because they know, like, that's one of your big things is that dishonesty, like, that just irks your fucking nerves, like, that just really bothers you like a liar, you know, and so it's like they know they got to come in with this truth and be very clear, they're determined to do that, though, they honor you and they want to protect you in this connection at all costs, let's see about the masculine spirit. So right now, they are avoiding this conversation. They're avoiding the conversation with you uh, because they're still upset. They're they're upset. It's like they're upset with you. But I feel like they're avoiding the conversation. That, that's what it is because you they feel like you're upset and you're not going to deal with them. You might have put up some boundaries with this person because they have hurt you because in the past. And so now they are scared to come toward you. Like I said, they think you might go off on them. You're upset. And you probably feel like you might go off on their ass too. So that could be why you're trying to avoid that shit. Let's be spirit. Any messages for the collective on this situation, spirit, ancestors, and guides? Any messages for the collective on this situation, spirit? Them kids must have been. My little uh, adopted niece, she, she wants to do tarot, so she was probably over here. Let's see. For this connection here, spirit. So they're going to come in and try to renew this connection with you. And look at how this, they're down, in this picture, he's down on one knee in front of her. And she's almost looking down at him like, peasant, like, yeah, yeah, you better, you know. And he, I feel like there could, with wedding rings there and then this coming out, they want to come in and renew this love. And they might actually ask you to marry them because they know that's what's going to solidify this commitment. There could be children involved in this connection or in that third party connection. What else is coming for this connection, spirit? Near future? Very soon. So this person is going to be coming towards you very soon. It's like they're, they cannot, it, no matter what they do, or they cannot get away. They cannot. And But they need to be deciding what they want, and then they need to come towards you. 
they can't keep going back and forth with this third party. They can't keep letting this third party um, pull them back into their energy. They need to clearly decide what they fucking want here. There could be a child involved, involved with this karmic, and that's why they're stalling here. But they I feel like ultimately they will be coming back to renew this love with you. Maybe even getting down on one knee. Yeah, what you don't see coming is separation. So if they're in another connection, they will be separating from this person. If that's not the case, you guys are in separation right now. But I feel like that's they're coming back. All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonates at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.